Hi YouTube, um, it's me, and as I did an unboxing of the Galaxy Ace, I'm also going to do a review of it. So, start with, as I always do, the shape. Okay, the case makes it slightly hard to... Uh, please bear with. <clears throat> okay, so, here's the phone shape. I'm going to say this is probably the best thing about the phone, because... It's got the silver thing, I like, like it, and then the back, I like the back, it's a curved, smooth back, it's nice, it's it's quite thick, but it's it's not on the thin side, It's but it's not really like proper thick brick thing, but still it's nice. So you have the micro SD slot over here, so you don't have to take the phone back thing out. There's a door, if you open it, that's where you put the micro USB in for charging. 3.5 mm jack as usual. Slightly slanted. Ah. There we go. Anyway, no, the the foot the camera's charging, so and so that's why it's slanted. Anyway, volume rocker on the left side. I think yep. And at the bottom, nothing. Well, oh yeah, the way yeah, there's the thing to open the port, open the phone back. <coughs> anyway, front the. The touch sensitive keys. At the top, there's the. I, th I think that's the, the front facing camera. There should be. At the back, flash, speakers, and camera. Much like an iPhone. No surprises there. Anyway, and this is the La Fleur version of it. It's meant to be. It's meant to have an 832 megahertz processor, which is. A which is apparently slightly faster than the original version, but I really don't see the difference. Except for it's got Scott Flowers there, and... There. Yeah. Anyway. On to the phone itself. User interface. So. It comes with TouchWiz 3.0, I think, yeah. It looks like TouchWiz 3.0. Touch um, it On the box, it will say Android 2.2, but I'm, I'm pretty sure... It's loaded with Android 2.3. Yes, and there. Android 2.3.6. It's a newer version. And so, user interface. It's got TouchWiz. So that's still, again, like iPhone with the back black background. It's a bit. And like iPhone. Well, not unlike iPhone. It's got the pages. Touches. And. The notification bar, as you'll see, the icons are slightly. N oops, the icons are slightly newer. Uh, the top bar icons are slightly newer than version 3.0 and like say the Galaxy uh, Samsung Galaxy Mini, for instance. Anyway, camera. The camera is okay-ish. If, if it's an okay camera, I think a 3.3 .3 megapixel camera. I think. It's got things. It's got the menu at the the wallpapers. It comes with live wallpapers. It's just like a HTC Desire. It actually, it's got nothing for live wallpapers. You have to download them all. Um. And anyway, ha! Ah! Hold on a minute. So yeah, it's. I would say okay. You don't see any lag here for us. Say. Say in the internet. You would find, yeah, there is lag. The screen, it's not the best. It's not the best, to be honest. It's 151 PPI, so that's not okay. PPI is p pixel per inch. So it's not, it's okay. Internet. Okay, it's uh, like. Um, HTC, but actually, it's much better in here than anything else. Music like that. So it's an old. It's it's okay. It's it's Samsung's take on an iPhone, and they haven't pulled it off very well, to be honest. Yeah, forgetting the shape and everything, an iPhone's more thicker. But you might as well have a Samsung Galaxy Mini because the the 32 megahertz isn't more, isn't really enough. Sorry. The the thirty two megahertz doesn't make 
as much of a difference. Gallery, yeah, which is no items anyway. Let's load up the Wi-Fi. Gaming, certainly not. Look, it's even laggy when going into the app drawer, so I really do not think you you should. Look, it's even laggy now. So gaming is a no-no. Look, it's lag. Gaming, you it it just no, it's just not acceptable. You can't just you cannot use it. Whereas the internet's concerned. Now we have it up and running. Keyboard, oh, keyboard. It's old version and... The internet... It takes time to load. It's, it's actually... It's not as rich as older phones, but... On the desire. There's a massive be there's a massive bees oh wait. So Google's okay. Okay, anyway. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway. So that's it's it has Quite a thick bezel, so that's one thing they haven't covered. iPhone bezels, to be honest, hold a minute. Sorry about that. Just here we've got an iPhone. The bezel, it's nothing basically compared to the Galaxy Ace. It's nothing. And the iPhone is much, it's quite big. The iPhone, it's a lie, it's a 3.6, 3.565 or 3.6 inch. So that's one thing. And, well, it's my mum, so I can't really load any apps or anything. But, I can go on the internet, go on Facebook, so. Okay, that's a bit copyright. Anyway, so yeah, it's okay as such. The battery power is not great. Um, you yeah. So it's more of those phones for like socializing and everything, not really for the gaming type of phone. Otherwise, it's all user friendly and everything. So it's all it's probably the worst phone I've ever reviewed. So yeah, it's typical Samsung. It's tried to take in an iPhone, it hasn't worked yet. The Ace 2 is probably much better. So, yeah. And it's got older touch with, which doesn't help. Anyway. Uh, okay, so. That's it. Thanks for watching and hope, hope you subscribe.